Hello and welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Brazil and they take on Serbia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Neymar. the Serbia starting 11. Well, when you play in a 3-5-2 formation, the position of the wing-backs is key. If they drop too deep, you can't dominate possession. And if they play too high, you leave the centre-backs exposed. They have to get the balance right. Vinicius Jr. Can he put it in? Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. What an opportunity. It's got to be. A goal! 1-0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And Neymar hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. Vinicius Junior. Oh, big chance. throwing us away from here well here it is again and the pace in which they break forward is devastating it's so hard to defend against and when he gets onto it he decides to go for power it's a really emphatic finish which gives the keeper no chance Paqueta can they hit on the break a oh, very effective play and they might be onto something that is a long way off target, Stuart. Well, he looked in control, but in the end, the shot was wayward. That's a poor finish. Excellent vision. Will it happen for them? Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper. And that seemed to catch him off guard. A really good controlled finish. Fred. Richarlison. Opportunity. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, let's see this again. 
The vision to play this through ball is superb, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Vlaovic. Surely able to get his body in the way. And over it comes, and he clears the danger. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Off the post and back in play. Well, the keeper has it, and all is well. Well, it is now. And full-time, Brazil have prevailed. That's the big story here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, Fabinho certainly stamped his mark on the game. Interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.